All right, on today's episode of my vlog, I'm going to be focused on evening MBAs versus full time MBAs. Um, this is another question we get from our students in our prep classes here in Atlanta all the time. Um, students asking, oh, should I be doing it? Uh, should I be looking at an evening MBA and full time MBA? And how does that impact the kind of GMAT and GRE scores those programs need? I am actually a big fan of the evening MBA. The reason is because with the evening MBA, um, um, it doesn't really, it doesn't, you don't really look down on it. You don't want to look down on it um, based on what you're actually getting at the end of the day. What do I mean by that? I mean, at the time when you graduate, all the full-time MBAs and even MBAs, when you're graduating, and you're looking for jobs and stuff, guess what? There is no designation on your program that says you are an evening MBA and that person is a full-time MBA. Now, obviously, with the evening MBA, you are not on campus all the time. So there are some things you're going to miss out on uh, compared to the full-time MBA that are on campus all the time. They can interview more and stuff like that. But most of the people who are looking at an evening MBA already have a job, already have a career they are on track with, and are just looking to stay on track with that career and pretty much upgrade their education on the MBA level to be able to kind of really give them a positioning at their current job or if they're going to interview to another job without losing the income, you know, of um, of having to leave your work to go full time. So one of the things I like about the another thing I like about the evening MBA is the fact that it's they're more flexible in terms of what the GMAT and the entry application admission requirements are. I'll give you a very good example. Um, on most, um, on some um, um, MBA programs, you may find that the full-time MBA GMAT score, required score to get in um, into that program, will be something say like a 680. While the evening MBA for the same program, the same school, the same brand, will be almost a hundred points lower for the evening MBA. So you may find an evening MBA that's a 580 GMAT score and a full-time MBA that's a 680 GMAT score, and that's usually one kind of the kind of difference I see in the score. So what you can find there is, hey, if you're in the evening MBA, they, they already, the school is already saying, hey, we know you're not sitting around studying GMAT all day. You know, you have work, you have to have life to live. And we they understand that, look, if you take the GMAT and you score, uh, we expect, we understand if your score is lower than someone who quit their job and studied full time to study for the GMAT. So that's another advantage you have in the um, in the evening MBA that I really like as well for a lot of students who are just still working professionals and don't leave, want to leave their jobs. Another thing to keep in mind also that a lot of people don't think about is because a lot of people just look at education and say, you know, education and the student loans I'm going to get is um, is good debt anyway. I'm a little bit different when it comes to that. I kind of say, you know what? When you're looking at the evening MBA, really consider the evening MBA because guess what? There are lots of things, there are lots of ways where it's cheaper for you. What do I mean? One, because you've not left the company you're with, a lot of those companies can kind of help you with the tuition and reimbursement. So that's something that you are able to use to help fund and pay for school. And the other thing is, even if this, the company you're currently with doesn't help with tuition and reimbursement, the fact that you're working, maybe what you can do before you start, kind of save up some money for to the start of the school, and you might be able to just cash flow your school all the way through. And so that's another thing to really consider, another reason why the evening MBA is better. One thing I've seen that with students, why a lot of students don't like the evening MBA is like a lot of, I hear from a lot of students who say, well, it takes so long to kind of finish and everything. One of the things you have to kind of think about it is, yes, you're going to pay somehow. It's either you're paying by getting a student loan debt or you're paying by just taking a little longer, just a semester, a few semesters more just to finish a little later, but guess what? You finish and it's, you already have your MBA paid for and you can actually can get to enjoy the MBA and the um, benefits it's gonna have for your career. So just things to kind of consider there. I'm a big a fan of the evening MBA. If you can make it work, the GMAT scores are lower and guess what? You might be able to even pay for it and not have to get in debt. So that's my tip for today, uh, my vlog today. I wish you the very best as you study for the GMAT, as you get ready to improve things within your career and join me next time on my vlog here at uh, and I'll see you very soon.